Hi everyone good to see you again all I hope you all will be fine. Please check Iraq latest news updates. The Iraqi cabinet approved the draft right to information law on Wednesday. The cabinet briefly stated that it would refer the draft law to the parliament for legislation. Earlier today, the cabinet held its regular session under the leadership of the current Prime Minister, Muhammad Shia al-Sudani. It is noteworthy that the right to information law is a legislation that grants citizens and residents of a country the legal right to access government-held information and documents. This law promotes transparency and accountability in government activities by allowing individuals to request and receive information on various matters of public interest. It aims to enhance government openness, reduce corruption, and empower citizens to make informed decisions. And Prime Minister Mohammad Shia al-Sudani met with the Special Representative of the United Nations Secretary-General in Iraq, Janine Hennis Plashayat, on Wednesday. During the meeting, various topics were discussed, including the issue of displaced persons in the country. According to a statement from al-Sudani's office, the meeting addressed cooperation between Iraq and the UN mission, a review of the mission's independent strategy in Iraq, and discussions on joint programs and projects implemented by the mission in various regions of Iraq. Additionally, the efforts and preparations for the upcoming Provincial Council elections scheduled for December were discussed. The meeting also included a review of Iraq's efforts in addressing the issue of displaced persons and their voluntary return to their places of residence, following the provision and necessary conditions to support their stability and reintegration into society. Furthermore, discussions covered Iraq's efforts in addressing climate challenges and measures taken to address the issue of drought, as stated in the press release. And an Iraqi official in the oil sector revealed on Tuesday that talks to resume oil exports from northern Iraq through the pipeline between Iraq and Turkey are still ongoing. The statements of the Iraqi official took place a day after Turkey announced that it would resume operation of the pipeline transporting crude oil from Iraq this week after a suspension lasted for about six months, according to Reuters. The Iraqi official, who requested to remain anonymous, explained that further meetings will be held soon and things will be clearer regarding Turkey's seriousness to show some flexibility towards the outstanding issues. During his participation in the ADIPEC conference in Abu Dhabi, the Turkish Minister of Energy and Natural Resources, Alpazlan Bayraktar, said on Monday that Turkey will resume operation of the pipeline transporting crude oil from Iraq this week. The Iraqi authorities have not issued any comments regarding this development. Turkey had stopped oil flows through the pipeline in northern Iraq on March 25 after the International Chamber of Commerce ICC ordered Ankara to pay Baghdad $1.5 billion in compensation for damages caused by the Kurdistan regional government's KRG export of oil without permission from the federal government in Baghdad between 2014 and 2018. Turkey began maintenance work on the pipeline, which, according to Turkish officials, passes through a seismically active area and was damaged by floods. The Kurdistan region of Iraq exported approximately 450,000 barrels of crude oil per day before the pipeline was closed. Sources told Reuters that the Turkish president, Recep Tayyip Erdogan, may visit Baghdad in October to settle the issue. In April, Iraq submitted a petition to a U.S. federal court to implement the decision issued by the ICC. The sources added that the lack of a solution to this issue was one of the reasons for postponing Erdogan's visit to Iraq, which was scheduled for August. And foreign remittances at the central bank's CBI auction increased by 95% on Wednesday, reaching $187 million in cash sales.
According to Sharfak News Agency correspondent, CBI sold today, during its auction for buying and selling U.S. dollars, a total of $196,613,962, covered by the bank at an exchange rate of 1,305 Iraqi dinars per dollar for documentary credits, international settlements for electronic cards, and at a rate of 1,310 Iraqi dinars per dollar for foreign remittances, as well as for cash at the same rate of 1,310 Iraqi dinars. Our correspondent added that most of CBI's sales of dollars were used to bolster balances abroad in the form of remittances and credits, reaching $187,243,962, which is a 95% increase compared to the cash sales of $9,370,000. Furthermore, our correspondent noted that seven banks purchased cash dollars, while 16 banks met the requests to enhance foreign balances. The total number of exchange and intermediary companies participating in the auction was 82. Thanks take care.